Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yusila Shea, if you don't know already. And today I'm coming to you in a robe because we're going to talk about something a little bit intimate, okay? We're talking about bras. Bra struggles is something that I personally relate to. Literally most of my life I have worn the wrong bra size and it wasn't until two or three years ago that I actually got the right bra size. Felt like it was a life-changing moment. I'm not even trying to be dramatic but it definitely does change your posture. It changes your confidence and changes your comfort. And so what I learned, I want to share with you guys because it turns out that most women wear the wrong bra size. I'm going to get into, you know, my history with bras and how to find the right bra size and what things to look for in a good bra and yada, yada, yada. But before we get started, you already know what you got to do, right? Please make sure that you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your bell notifications so that you will always, always be up to date on my newest uploads. Okay guys, let's talk bras. So for just a little bit of background on my personal story when it comes to bras, for the most part, like I mentioned earlier, I've worn the wrong bra size. I honestly didn't know that I was wearing the wrong bra size. I thought that all the adjusting I had to do was because of my breast shape. So I thought that I was one of those unordinary girls with a very interesting breast shape and because of that, bras just weren't made for me so I just thought that you know the right bra wasn't in the cards and I just had to take what I could get and I had to settle I would literally from high school be buying these bras that were obviously not the right size because I would literally have to keep adjusting like throughout the day probably every hour I would be like this going in adjusting my breast to literally fit into the cup then it would kind of spill out all over again like an hour later also I would always like be doing this trying to adjust the straps trying to adjust everything and it got so bad to the point where I would be buying bras and bring them home and sewing them or asking my mom to sew them so that the band would fit tighter and so clearly all signs that these were not the right bras for me so bringing you into today I am a 32 G that is my proper bra size and I'm considered a full busted girl because I have a small frame but I have bigger breasts it wasn't until two years ago or three years ago that I actually found out my bra size thank God for my cousin one time we were you know out and about and she asked me what my bra size was I told her I'm a 34 D she says you're not a 34 D I said I'm a 34 D she says you're not a 34 D I was just like okay so then what size am I she was like you're a 32g and I was like she was like if you're not a 32g then you're a 32 triple d first of all I was shook because I was like a g cup there's absolutely no way that I can wear a g I was just like that sounds humongous she was like there's no way that you're 34 because I'm a 34 and you have a smaller frame than me sis we went into Macy's and she picked out a 32g bra took me to the dressing room had me change it and when I tell you that this bra fit like, I don't even know how to describe how perfectly it fit. The support was amazing. The cup actually fit. My boobs weren't spilling out. Like everything about it was so perfect. So that is my little history on why and how I ended up finding my right bra size. And when I tell you this was life changing, the reason why it kind of sounds so dramatic is because not having the right bra size made me always so accustomed to like throughout the day, you know, doing this with my bra, hiding behind my friends and be like, yo, cover me while I adjust my boobs. I was just so used to doing that. And mind you, there was more weight being put on my shoulders too, because most of my support was coming from my straps which I'll get into that also so it was affecting my post posture I wasn't standing up as straight as I could because there was more weight on my shoulders it just affects the way you walk it affects how free you feel because the more comfortable you are chances are the more like confident you walk so I wasn't necessarily comfortable because my bras weren't comfortable I'm gonna take you through some tips that are like really 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 important to know when it comes to finding the right bra and pinpointing when a bra is not fitting you correctly so the first thing that I learned when it came to bras which is super important is that when you're buying a bra you have to make sure that the hook fits on the first hook most bras have a hook and eye they are usually three sets or three rows and 
when you're buying your bra, they should first fit on this first initial set of hooks. It should fit you well around the frame just by hooking it on this first hook. Bras over the months, they stretch out because you wash them, you wear them, you wash them, you wear them. The reason why they usually have these sets of hooks is because as your bra stretches out, and it gets a little wider and it supports you a little less, you put it onto the second hook, make it a little tighter. Then when you keep washing, stretching out, keep washing, stretching out, you put it on the third hook. So it's meant mainly for longevity. So if you buy a bra and it only fits you on the frame when you put it on the very last hook, once it stretches out, that is it. It's just a done deal because most of the support is supposed to come from the band, which is this bottom part of the bra. Now this takes me into my second point again. Most of the support that you have in your bras are supposed to come from the band. If they don't come from the band, that means that the support is now going to be on the straps. You don't want the support to be on the straps. If you buy a bra and you have to adjust the straps to make it all fit and to make your boobs supported, then that means that the support is going to depend on your straps, which means that all the weight is going to be on the straps which means that you are going to strain your shoulders and your back area. You're gonna find that your strap is going to ride up at the back and you don't want your straps to be riding up at the back. They have to sit at a comfortable um, level and the way that I usually help to gauge if the support is coming from my straps rather than my band is when I hook it and I put my bra to the front the way it's supposed to be, before I even put the straps over my shoulders, I wanna make sure that the bra is standing or sitting by itself without the straps. And if it's sitting and I don't even have the straps on, then I know that most of the support is going to come from the band. If I put it on and it's slipping down already, then I know that most of the support is gonna come from the shots which you don't want because like I said it strains your shoulders and your back and then you also have that issue where your straps start literally digging into your skin and it can definitely create dark marks because if you're constantly having straps on your shoulders and it's pulling it down then it's just going to create that tension and that weight on your shoulders. Another thing that I learned with bras is spillage. Spillage is an indication that your bra does not fit you correctly. If you have spillage that means that either your cup is too small or your band could be too small or both could be too small. You want to make sure that your breasts are fully encompassed into the cup because if not you will see it protruding out and if you wear a tighter or slimmer shirt it will definitely show. When it comes to finding the right bra size there are definitely ways that you can try to find the right bra size or the closest size to your correct bra size. So before you even measure you want to make sure that you're putting on a bra that fits you decently well. Make sure that you don't have a padded bra on and you're going to measure your frame from around your back unto right under your bra and that is going to give you a number for me that number is 28 and since it's an even number I added a 4 which will bring me to 32 if you have an odd number add 5 that will bring you to your band size and so my band size is 32 to determine your cup size you take the measuring tape and you go from your back and you measure up to the fullest point of your bust. It's gonna be fairly in the middle because that's usually where you're, you know, poking out the most. So you're gonna go from your back, measure into the fullest part of your bust in the front, and that's gonna give you a number. For me, that number is 35. So what I'm gonna do now is subtract 28, which is the measurement of my frame, which was the initial number that I got, from 35, which is the measurement from my back to the fullest part of my bust. And that's going to give me seven. Now what I'm going to do with this number seven is find out which letter it falls on. So if I have seven, I go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That will bring me to my 
cup size. So that's a G. And then in the beginning, I said that my band size is a 32. So that brings me all together to the bra size of 32 G. Now, if you want to try this, go right ahead. It may not be fully accurate for every single person, but for me, it's really accurate. So if you're feeling like a little bit unsure, then I would definitely recommend to go to a professional and have them size you. Now moving on to my next point, a lot of people will recommend that you find a sister size. What that is, is another bra size that should fit you equally or almost as good as your actual bra size. I personally am not going to necessarily recommend sister sizes, especially if you have a bigger bust, only because when I try it, I find that nothing except for 32G gives me as much support or gives me the support that I need. So I'm not going to really speak too much about sister sizes. As I said, I'm a 32G, but I can get away with a 32 triple D if I'm wearing a full coverage bra. If I'm wearing a full coverage bra, it's going to fully cup my breasts. Now, if I wear a 32 triple D in a bra that's not full coverage, you will see some spillage. If it's a full coverage bra I'm not going to have to deal with all that extra cleavage because it cups the whole thing so I can get away with a 32 D D D bra when it comes to what kind of straps that you should be buying I personally recommend that if you have a bigger bust you might want to switch out with thin strap bras every once in a while only because inevitably if your boobs are really really heavy it is naturally going to weigh down on the straps a little bit even if you wear the right size or a lot if you wear the wrong size so just to try to avoid dark marks i would say a thicker strap will help with that and to help support and like i said the strap should not be what's mainly supporting your breast however if you're wearing a thinner strap, then it is going to just naturally dig in a little bit more versus a thicker strap that doesn't really dig in as much. In the same way that having a thicker strap will help with the digging into the skin, the same way that a thicker band will actually help. When it comes to bras, I really recommend that everyone should invest in bras. Bras are investments. I spend between 40 to $90 on each bra that I buy now. When I was a little bit younger, I would buy bras that were cheap, the underwire would continue to come out and plague me. And it would be annoying and it would be painful. It just is not worth it. Along with that, I find that cheaper bras stretch out way quicker. And so the life of the bra is just so short that it's not even worth it. Really good quality bras are expensive, but like I said, they're an investment. And what I would also recommend is that you rotate between at least three bras, because if you're constantly wearing one or two bras all the time, it is going to stretch out way quicker. Whether you're wearing a cheap bra or a more expensive bra so i would say have at least three bras in your rotation all right guys so now let's get into the kind of bras that i like to wear i like to wear bras that are usually pretty full coverage but it does depend on what i'm wearing so obviously if i'm wearing something strapless or something that you know has a little bit of a lower cut i'm not gonna wear a full coverage bra because you're most likely gonna see it in those cases i won't wear it so i do have a variety of bras i have a t-shirt bra bras that are minimizers which brings me into my new favorite obsession minimizer bras the ones that pretty much do not have like a structure like a regular bra would and it almost feels like a cloth material so 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 comfortable and light weight unlike the regular t-shirt bras with like the formed cups they are usually a lot of times fuller coverage bras so they fit like a charm and like their name minimizer they literally make your boobs look smaller whenever I wear this bra or these kinds of bras it just like really brings it in for me and for someone who has really big boobs I'm not looking for my boobs to be bigger if it just brings it in a little bit more it fits my frame a little bit better because I am a slender girl Girl. This particular brand is Wacol. This is the brand that I often buy from because they 
tend to have my size even when I go in store which it's not easy for me to just walk into a store and find my size generally I don't so I usually like go to Macy's and buy a Waco bra or I buy online Waco is not the only brand that has extended bra sizes there are a lot of other brands which I will leave some of them down in the description box so you guys can take a look if you have like a really unique size this will be helpful for you so last but not least as I said bras are an investment with that being said especially if you're gonna be splurging on bras I would definitely recommend that you guys take care of your bras do not put them in the dryer try your best to hand wash them and then let them air dry and I know like it's so much more convenient to throw them in the washer and the dryer I completely get it because every once in a while I'll cheat and put it in the washer but I always let them air dry I do hand wash them more and that just helps with the longevity of the bra because it's a more gentle way to treat it rather than putting it in a washer which is a little bit more of an aggressive way of cleaning your bras all right guys that is all for this video I really hope that this was helpful please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments box below let me know if you've also struggled with bra issues and I will see you guys in my next video bye